Who own your mind? Is it fear, worry, anxiety, or poverty, death, boss, girlfriend, shoes, Coca-Cola? Who owns your mind? Because the battles are fought in the mind and they are won in the heart. Whoever owns your mind owns you and everything you create. What owned my mind in the past was trauma, fear, worry, anxiety, many things. But all of this, what dominated my mind the most was the trauma. So what is trauma in itself? I call it a mental genocide. I call it a soul murder. I call it an invasion of demons to come and occupy your mind. Flashbacks in the day, nightmares at night. Staying around dead, rotting bodies. Kids, broken limbs. Burning houses. And I would say, nobody showed me how to fight to own my mind. And luckily, I end up finding a way for it to work. And how it works is through principles that I created. Now I call it my life is art, which is 11 principles represented by those letters. Here I recognize my life as a work of art that I create to spark consciousness. So these principles allows me to take the journey to own my mind and using it to acquire my spiritual blessing and physical blessing. Now I would say I've mastered the arts of generating positive emotion every day, regardless of any situation that comes. One thing I know is my emotion has to be always positive. Now join me on the classes that I'll be doing about my life is art and let me know how you feel after peace.